evil. Hello everybody, I'm Strawberry Shogut and this is, once again, Deponia. The game that will drive me insane with puzzle game logic. So, what were we doing? Let's see, we have an annoying parrot. Hey, Tony, I have a present for you. Oh. Hello, hello. Didn't I say you're not to bring animals into my store? <laughs> yeah, but I thought that only concerned rats and insects. And? Yeah, and water buffaloes. But this parrot is completely different. He's smart, clean, doesn't break stuff, and he doesn't even have lice. Wow. So he's the exact opposite of you. Oh, that's uh, very funny, Tony. I just thought you could use someone who listens to you so you can chew someone else's ear off for a change. Well, at least I won't be talking to a brick wall. Very funny, Tony. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, there's no surprise there. He sounds like your mother. <laughs> and there's a certain resemblance, too. Get out. Get out! Such oh. a lovely girl. I should have listened to my mother. Be careful with this guy, Tony. He's an egotistical maniac. Egotistical maniac? Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> Just you wait till you see him in action. Just the other week, he filled the cemetery's lawnmower with Cool Whip. Maniac! Maniac! <laughs> Poor bird. It won't be long before he starts pining for toxic mind fumes again. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Let's go to the... What did I manage to do now? Oh, I clicked it. There. My cursor disappeared for a while there. So, as I said, puzzle game logic drives me completely insane. But at least I'm getting back to playing some Deponia, which is nice. I actually need some... A bit of a variation in what I play. I mean, Final Fantasy X recently released on Steam, so I've been mostly... Playing that. Let's see. Can we put a cat on the teletypewriter? <laughs> I bet their message makes more sense than anything low tech ever types. The operator huh. will thank me. Uh, let's see. We have a nodding board and we had have a button. Next place. Next place. Next place. How Next lovely. Place. Next place. So, Next, please! Our goal currently is to drive the radio operator insane so that we can get the headphones, or well, at least stress him out a bit because he's basically just sitting there doing nothing. So let's overload his poor, poor senses. And then Rufus greased the bees with fat for deep frying just so he could... Wait a second. Here he is again. Let's talk later, okay? I don't want him to hang around here without supervision. Ah! Oh, Tony! Ah! Hi, Rufus. Thanks again for the bird. Rufus? Isn't that a good nick? Ah! Such a smart animal. <laughs> Let's take it. What are you doing? I better take him back. You're a bad influence on him. You do that. I already have a sore throat. Repeating myself all over again makes me quite depressed. Those are all lies, you hear? Rufus, <laughs> don't have fun. The cheap lies. So, let's go with the parrot to the phone. I mean, it's nice to get some Let's Play done again, even though I'm trying to get the Let's Play content on the channel down. It at least isn't that much work doing it compared to certain other videos, so... It feels good. Mr. Gizmo speaking. You have an emergency to report? Rufus has stolen the screws of the children's merry-go-round. Rufus! I should have thought as much. What else do you know? Rufus has caused a nuclear meltdown. Rufus has stolen the antenna out of this single factor. A little slower, please. I can't follow you. Could you repeat that, please? I don't know if this was such a good idea. Could you repeat that, please? Oh, well, it'll be all right. At least the line is busy now. <laughs> the operator will be overjoyed. What else do you know? Ah, Rufus abused the harvester to steal files from the town hall roof. <laughs> Good bird. What 
What else do you know? Rufus has closed a nuclear meltdown. Ah. How lovely, but at least it seems like we're Next, please. moving forward in the story, which is Next, nice. Please. Poor Lottie. If Lottie wasn't Rufus such an asshole. <laughs> Next, please. Rufus has stolen the screws off the children's merry-go-round. Rufus has stolen the antenna out. <laughs> His nerves are worn to a frazzle. That's what you get for not letting me borrow the headphones. Ready to go. Hello? It's radio. Is anyone there? Hello? Uh, Cletus? Junk fly hazard in the northern quadrant caused by a flock of stampeding. Cletus! Come on! Your love is the most <laughs> wonderful gift. Cletus? Cletus! Rufus is the most wonderful gift. They call him Rufus. Rufus. <laughs> Searching for my fiance. Calling all inhabitants of Deponia. Hey, wait a second. Name is Cletus. I am searching for my fiance. Possibly she is. Cletus? Cletus! Is that you? This is Rufus. Can you hear me? Hello, Rufus? Are you on Deponia? Of course I'm on Deponia. And where are you? On the Organon Cruiser? Or Elysium? That's none of your business. Well, I need a few answers from you before we talk about your fiancé. Answers? Depends on what you want to know. Are you really from Elysium? Of course I am. But I don't get why you should care where I come from. <laughs> What's it like on Elysium? Well... It's not as dirty and uncivilized as down here, and the people are less annoying, too. Brilliant! Sounds like the perfect place for me. Has your fiancé always been a bit odd? What? What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Forget it. What was your fiancé doing yeah. on board an Organon cruiser? That's none of your business. But isn't it a bit strange that a woman from Elysium was... Don't worry about things that go far over your head. Let's get down to business. Man, he's really pleasant. I mean, I'm sure that's the right way to get help. Are the Organons planning something? Why do you want to know that? Listen, never get involved in matters of the highest sphere. You'll never understand what's happening up there above your head, let alone influence any of that. Don't even bother to try. Uh, nothing. Forget it. Uh, okay. Let's <laughs> assume for a second that your fiancé is suffering from a kind of, um, concussion. A concussion? Yeah, but a purely hypothetical assumption. <laughs> then you shouldn't waste time and get her to me. You'll be very sorry if you've hurt her. I need her brain to be fully functional. You really love her, don't you? Yeah. No further questions. Very good. Maybe we can go back to the matter at hand. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Money. A lot of money. That's blackmail. Well, fair enough. How much do you want? Well, I, I uh, I don't know. Uh, how much is a ticket to Elysium? Don't make a fool of yourself, man. <laughs> Elysium is not a, an amusement park. I know that. Listen, no money in the world can buy a ticket to Elysium. Okay, well then there's no deal. Keep your dirty money. I intend to, believe me. Good. Good. Just one thing. What exactly is an amusement <laughs> park? Yeah. Let's do I that. I want you to take me with you to Elysium. <laughs> Impossible. Well, that's my price. Either I can come along to Elysium, or... Listen, I can't take you to Elysium. There must be something else you need. Nope. I want a passage to Elysium or nothing at all. Well, then you'll get nothing at all. Well, if that's what you want, you can go ahead and cancel your wedding. Wait a minute, <laughs> but maybe there's a way. I knew it. Bring gold to me. We'll meet at the Lower Ascension Station at the shore of the Rust Red Sea tomorrow night. I'll be waiting on top of the platform. You think you can make it there? Tomorrow night? Well, I don't know. If, uh... I thought you wanted to get to Elysium. Or didn't you find gold after all? Well, I, I did. 
I did. Well, then we have a deal. I'll meet you after sunset. Cletus, over and out. Just, w w wait a second. I, Cletus? Ah, such okay. a pleasant a man. Station. Down on the, uh, up on the lower ascension station. Up on top of the platform. Ha! Huh. Easy as pie for a guy like me. Elysium, I'm coming! Yes, yes, of course you are. Okay, so now we need gold. And we need to know where the station is. Poor, poor cats. Why would you do that to them? Rufus, you're a horrible, horrible person. Oh, the bird has left. Hopefully so has the constable. He has. Is that just a sheet? But where's yeah. gold? What the hey? What are you doing? Gizmo? Oh Look at you. Finally I brought you to justice. What is that supposed to mean? It's me. What Rufus. an ass hat. And believe me, it was not easy to solve this case. The case of your missing IQ? No, I'm talking about a series of crimes that have been committed this very morning. <laughs> Ever since that girl appeared, our community has been in turmoil. Arson, sabotage, disrespectful behavior toward the authorities. <laughs> you don't have any proof of any of that, you stupid idiot. Theft. I'm innocent. Yeah, okay, Good let me words. rephrase that. If I am guilty of any crime at all, then that crime is love. Everything I did, I did for goal. Where is she, by the way? Has she gained full consciousness yet? No, but she needed more room. She's with Mr. Wenzel. What? Oh. That treacherous toad? That's unfair. I found the Elysian. Me! It was me! Who found the Elysian? Uh... Wenzel found the Elysian. It was Wenzel, none other than him. Excuse me, but who are you? My name is Argus, Bailiff Argus, Organon Prime Administration. Ooh, the prime authority in my office. I Pleasant. forgot to brush my teeth. How can I be of help, Bailiff? I heard you have an Elysian woman in custody. These are community matters. Is that so? Interesting. What if an Organon search party was to reduce your community to rubble? Would that be community matters as well? <laughs> Don't let him threaten you, Gizmo. The girl is with Mr. Wenzel. Gizmo, no! You'll find his house below the water tank, right next to the town gate. Oh, you, crap. Inspector. You just saved your community a lot of suffering. Hmm. Yeah, really. Well done. Shut up. So, how are we supposed to get out of here? No great in the world can hold me back. You're kind of lying. There, it moved while you were blinking. So, how am I supposed to get out? Hey, hello there. <sighs> what is it now? Hmm. Yeah. You're nothing but a traitor, henchman of the Dark Exchequer. Keep quiet. I'm not a big supporter of the Organon. I only have the safety of our community in mind. Oh, joy. Fire! Nice try, boy. But my fire detectors would tell me if there was a fire. Oh, so there are fire detectors. Medical, Medical emergency, emergency, then. It can't be that serious if you're still making a fuss like that. And now be quiet, you pony malingerer. I'm hungry. Food will be served after sundown. Nat's piss and cactus bread. You'll have to wait till then. Let me out. Let you out? Huh. Why in the world would I do that? I have to save gold from the Organon. Didn't you do enough damage for one day? You heard the man, didn't you? But I'm innocent. innocent. Well, not in my eyes. All and clues we this move is you, rather unpleasant. The conditions in this cell are unacceptable. Are they really? So, you think you deserve better? I do. I neither belong in this cell, nor on this junkyard of a planet. Right. You think you belong to Elysium. I know I do. Why Guess do I'll have to go through it like from top to bottom. Beef? 
A good-for-nothing drifter? A troublemaker? When I get a chance, I seize it. I determine my own fate. <laughs> the only thing I see you seizing is other people's property, which then gets destroyed or incinerated in the process. Well, you can't paint a house without spilling some paint, and if it's highly flammable paint, then in the end, everything goes up in flames. I mean, that's life. Man, you're such a pleasant dude, Roof, as well. But I promise to better myself. I promise to better myself. The irredeemable Rufus. Don't make me laugh. You're right. I'm pretty much perfect already. <laughs> well, good work. Time is running out. Already? Well then, brace yourself. I can tell you it's the third week in here that drives people insane. What? How long do I have to stay in here? Well, at least until the court case. But considering the list of your crimes... That's impossible. I have to save gold. Well, you should have thought about that before you disrespected the law. Well, that wasn't disrespect. It was more <laughs> like a, a spoonful of neglect. My doctor says my attention deficit syndrome might strike any time. Uh, where was I? I need to How pee. about that, Please then? try to keep it in. I cleaned the floor just the other day. I give up. Good for now nothing so why don't you just be quiet huh let's see what do we have in our inventory we have a hand torch if i weld it shut i'll never be able to open it again no that's true how about a cat i don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet nope knowing gizmo i suppose he'll confiscate my stuff soon enough Hmm. Not necessary. Goal has their coffee black. So, what exactly am I supposed to do? Do we have anything useful here? I don't want to interact with the celebrating the tree. I'll just set fire to the tree. Gizmo will go into firefighting mode and I can escape using the pole. Huh. If only I could reach the tree from here. Yes, if only. Can we put a cat in a tree? What? What was that sound? How the emergency? <laughs> Not the brightest man. Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. What happened? Where's the fire? Oh, Mr. Firefighter, my poor kitty climbed up the tree and she's afraid <laughs> to come down. Don't worry, madam. I'm a professional. No, you're an idiot. Um, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Genius prevails. <laughs> well, okay. Let's see. Can we actually get there? Before. For the rather evil people? I assume not, but we can try. Let's go to Wenzel's house. I'm sure everything will be fine. After all, Everything is always fine in this game, and the fact that there are like four sequels also Wenzel. is promising. Rufus, what, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Ha! You know very well what I'm doing here. Where is she? Rufus, please let me explain. No, you spineless traitor. It's not what you think. We'll see about that. Ah! Tony? You? <laughs> what are you doing here? Me? I don't know. Finally at a loss for words? I don't believe it. But I don't care what you think. There is an easy explanation for all this. What? No! no. I, I don't even want to know. I, I don't even remember asking. <laughs> Keep your gross secrets to yourselves. I just want to know where Goal is. Who's Goal? Oh, so your little lover boy here didn't tell you about his other conquest. Conquest? Wenzel, what is he talking about? Why are you dressed like that? Well, um, I thought, uh, uh... And who the heck is Goal? No one, really. I mean, yeah. she's not even working properly. What the... Where is she, Wenzel? I put her in the <laughs> In the basement? Great. Well, I see that you two have a lot to talk about. Have fun. To the basement. Come. 
Man, I never noticed that before.